Central Quebec for challenge number five, a great outdoor cook-off. Our six explorers, they must prepare an authentic wilderness dish using some typical camping food plus natural ingredients found right here in the wild. Now the stakes are high because after today, two more explorers go home. May the best dish win. All right, gentlemen, today we are doing the great outdoor cook-off. And to run us through it, we have one of the top chefs in Canada, Nancy Hinton, with us. Your challenge today is to cook a great meal in the woods. You have typical camping equipment, a bag full of dry goods, some fresh rainbow trout, and forged ingredients. You'll be judged on taste, originality, creativity, and of course, your use of the forged ingredients. I was not expecting a cooking challenge, but uh, camping and cooking goes hand in hand. Yeah, I'm excited. I definitely enjoy eating food, but cooking is not uh, one of my fortes, I will admit. We'll see where it goes. Here are some of the wild edibles. So we have some fiddleheads here, lamb's quarters, just like wild spinach. This is the lady Sorel, it just tastes lemony. I have very little knowledge with like edible plants. I'd probably be eating poison ivy if someone didn't tell me what it looked like. This is a really good survival plant. Some live forever here because it's really gorged with water. It's super nutritious and it's pretty tasty. This is garlic mustard. And then there's others like wild mint, dames rocket, juniper berries. Quand je cuisine, c'est c'est vraiment basique, rien de trop trop exotique. Donc de cuisiner avec tout ce qu'on a aujourd'hui, ça va être un tout un challenge pour moi. So that's that. There you go. So starting now, you have one hour. Come on up, grab the ingredients you need, and let's get this thing going. Chop chop. I'm hoping that the explorers take full advantage of the fresh fish and the wild greens when they've got their dry goods. So I'm curious to see how many risks they take. Simple is better. I'm really simple. You know, I like to just use salt and pepper and just let the flavor of whatever it is come out. So I'm just going to try to stay nice and basic. Let's see, I've got, ooh, honey. I used to work on a bee farm, so I am a honey connoisseur. Tomato sauce, powdered milk, milk, tin foil. This may become a baby. Black beans, gross. It's a very new for me. I will make a fish with, I don't know what, for the moment. It's a surprise. <laughs> I'm just making my menu. Just gonna start banging out this fish here. Being a traveler, I get to go to all over the world and try different cuisines, so I'm a big foodie. So I do like to try different ingredients from different regions of the world. All the way, touch it. <laughs> when it comes to cooking, I really just, I'm an experimenter. I like to cook fish when I'm camping, like in coals, like this too. Um, but a lot of times the, the fish will just cook slowly and then I'm hoping the stove is going to act like that. I'm not a very sophisticated person. I've been sort of on like a macaroni and cheese binge lately. There's no cheese. Yeah, so I was really banking on that mac and cheese. That's dill, sun-dried tomatoes. Just gonna make a plate that sort of has a little bit of everything. I definitely expect the guys to cook fiddleheads because they're super tasty, they're easy to cook. I mean, all you need is some boiling water. In that goes. I'm looking for the garlic and mustard. It's looking good. I see some of them are being smart, meticulously planning it out. Others are kind of winging it. Some of them are getting a little more ambitious and others are playing it safe. So I got a little Cam Brown specialty spaghetti a la carte. I don't know what a la carte means, but I have no seafood in my dish, but that's the way it goes. I see somebody didn't choose to use the fresh fish. That disappoints me. All right, fellas, five minutes left. Finish up what you're doing, and we'll get these judged. All right, time is up. I need to put your utensils down. It is time to judge these dishes. Jason, come taste. What I have prepared for you today is a nice, lovely rainbow trout with Saskatchewan staple, potatoes and carrots. And then over here, I'm using the fiddleheads and the daylily. So jump in, guys. 
fish is nicely cooked, I would continue eating. Thank you very good much. Job. Good job. Thank you. Cam, good sir. What do you got for us? I made you guys my extra special Cam Brown spaghetti. Good. Without further ado, I encourage you guys to indulge. What's this? Oh, in a the sun little uh, sun-dried oh, tomato. That looks good. Could have cut that up for me. No. Yeah. What do you think? It's tasty. Yeah. But I mean, you could have thrown a few wild herbs in there. Come on. A second bite, please. I had a second bite. A third. Devin, how's it going? Good, you? Good. So this is obviously bacon wrapped asparagus. I chose to just keep the fish together. I cooked a little bit of onion, sundry and tomato, uh, some almonds, and then I just spoiled the fiddleheads. Okay. I mean, look at all the effort he went to in the woods, and it's colorful, very appetizing. So that's ambitious. There are points for that. There's a lot of wild ingredients. And here you've got a bunch of wild greens, like the dandelion. Yeah, there's beach peas, the lamb's quarters, and some dried fruit and almonds. Yes. What do you think? Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful meal in the woods. Bravo. Thank awesome. You. Good job, brother. So, JP. Alors, j'ai commencé par faire une, une salade. Des tomates séchées. Des tomates séchées. Sans sucre. Non, je les ai laissées cuire. OK. Sun-dried tomatoes should be rehydrated. Puis ici, c'est le poisson. Ouais. Avec des fruits séchés. There's a little too much fruit going on here. It's lacking a bit of seasoning. Yeah. What do you got for us, Aaron? I have a salad made from the fresh greens. There are herbs in there. I put a little bit of bacon in there with cranberries. That's and good, the salty I'm... sweet. Mm. This is crunchy. The others were all soft, which is good. Although I just got a whole juniper berry. Whoa, that's overdoing it. But I mean, at least you tried yeah. to use them because the flavors go well. Right. Ready to go. Thank you. Hi, right, Josh. What I have for you here is trout. Inside, I glaze it with honey and a mustard. I've just taken those fiddleheads and then put butter, some herbs in that, and tinfoil, cooked it right over the stove. This is good. A tad overdone. Better that than underdone, right? Yeah. So, no, that's really good. I'm going to have a hard time deciding, I think. This is it, fellas. Nancy's got the result. You all did a pretty good job. Some were more elaborate, others played it safe and didn't take full advantage of the ingredients. This is elimination round. Bottom two will be going home today. In fourth place, we have Jay. Jay kept it simpler, but he was smart with his planning, good technique. In third, we have Josh. The fish was slightly overdone, but I mean, overall, it was tasty. In second place, we have Aaron. Aaron. The only one that served up a crispy fish, which was nice. And in first place, we have Devin. Definitely an ambitious and successful dish. The flavors and the use of wild ingredients was there. JP, Cam, I swear this is it. It's been an honor, guys. Eat a slice, boys. Sort of upsetting, I would say. Nothing much you can do, but keep your stick on the ice, shots on net, and that's the way she goes. I'm gonna miss you, brother. Okay. JP. Thanks. It was a very good adventure. I met great people and I learned a lot of things so now I can continue to enjoy my, my own adventure.